Hello and welcome to The Builder's Bench, where we break down common issues with today's automatic transmissions. I'm Alex Chrissy, editor of Transmission Digest. With me here is Reno Partipillo from ATSG, our technical expert. How are you doing, Reno? Very good, Alex. Thank you. So today we are talking about a Chevy with the 9T50 transmission with no reverse and two diagnostic codes, P07BF and P176C which both mean low voltage to the input and intermediate speed sensors. That's right, Alex. Particularly the car that we're gonna look at today is going to be a Chevy Malibu. Both speed sensors are powered up by the same wire, as we can see right over here, okay? Now, both sensors are actually inside the same housing. GM says with these two transmission codes that the transmission should start off in fifth gear and still have reverse but this one didn't. So for this situation, I'd like to deal with the known before I deal with the unknown. And what I mean by that is sometimes we want to fix a code that we know is there before we get into the unknown of what could be causing no reverse inside the transmission. Yeah, that makes sense. So what's the procedure for these particular codes? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna want to do is we want to check to see if there's nine volts at pin number two. Okay, when the tech decided to go ahead, go ahead and check that, there was no voltage at pin number two. So they decided to go ahead and trace the wires from the sensor all the way back to the TCM. As they were tracing the wires back to the TCM, they find the nine volt wire right over here under this core, under this protector being broken. So the, the tech decided to fix that wire. Once he fixed that wire, clear all the codes, guess what? The car now backed up. So now the customer is gonna be extremely happy knowing that all he had to do was, they had to do was fix a wire and not replace the entire transmission or rebuild the entire transmission. Now you had one other thing you wanted to bring up today that regarded the 9T series of transmissions. What was that? Okay, exactly, Alex. Uh, something that we are seeing uh, recently on the 9T60 and a 9T65, you can get a complaint of a quick pullback on the two on the one-two shift and a quick neutralization on the two-four shift. Okay, or when the thing is cold, like in say 32 degrees or below, you can actually might get a second gear start and possibly have one of these two codes, a P2820 or a 2821, which stands for pressure control solenoid stuck on or stuck off. What's going on with this thing is the separator plate on the valve body that goes between the valve body and the case has too small of an orifice as we see right over here, okay? The hole on the original plate is 0 0.05, okay? GM says to fix this issue with there, they want you to go ahead and change the plate to a 2.0 millimeter hole. But instead of buying a new plate for this thing, I'm sure we actually can find a drill bit that will fix this and we just go ahead and drill it out ourselves. So instead of spending money, we've already spent a lot of money on tools that we have inside the shop. Instead of spending extra money on a plate that we can just drill a hole out, we can just go ahead and drill the hole out instead to get it right. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, if you've got the tools, why not? Well, with that, that's going to do it for this episode of The Builder's Bench. Tune in again next time for more transmission technical tips. And thanks for watching. <laughs>